and today I'm bringing you another Minecraft house tutorial and this time it's this house that you can see just in front of me now what this is is it's a more or less like an advanced friends house now what you can do with this this is just like the starter house to begin with and it has actually got two rooms within this house so this is like one section just here as you can see and to the other side this is the other person's house so if we just take a little fly around and i'll show you what it looks like this is what the house should look like and the back end completely clear then what you do is you basically just take this build here and just simply build it again next to this house but attach it to it so let's have a little look inside and this is what the house starts to look like. You walk into a little entranceway. Let me just shut this other door behind me. You walk into a little entranceway just like this. And what this bit is here, this is so that you can extend the house for when more friends join your world. So they don't really have to build their house to begin with. They can just start off with this simple house here until they've got enough resources to then build their house. So let's take a look in this house just here. So we've got a nice simple bed and a nice little red flower, the traditional red flower that I like to use. We've got a simple little bookcase just here if you want to have a little read before you actually go to bed and a nice painting. You come into like the little kitchen cubby area, you've got your double chest, a furnace and a crafting table with another flower as well. Now you're probably wondering, where's all the other stuff? Well, let's take a walk down here down underneath and as you can see you've got a huge chest area and loads of furnaces so you can do loads of things you can go off mining you can smell everything you've got your ender chest you've even got yourself a little brewing area so that's all set up ready to go we've got some more paintings just down here and we're actually using glowstone for the lighting so that's actually a really good source of light as well so this is what one of them looks like, exactly the same on the other. Obviously the bed is in the opposite direction and the windows are on the front. Basically all exactly the same, as you can see. So without further ado guys, let's get the materials what we need and start to build this friend extending house, if you want to call it. A friend, an, an extended friend's house. Alright guys, let's All right, guys. So this is the basic shape that you need for the start of the house. So as you can see, it's already split off into two different rooms, with this being the main entrance where that you can remember. So all it is 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 a gap like this. So this is the starter, so that's one, two, three, four, five. So that's all you need to do and do that all the way around the build. Leave two gaps here for the doorway. And then for the back end, instead of having two doors, just bring the green all the way across, just like so. And then we're going to start building the wood. So, let's begin with the oak wood. So, we're going to get rid of this orange block just here. Bearing in mind, I hope you've done this shape already. So, we're going to get rid of this one and go one, two, three, four. And do that all the way around the build. So, this house was very interesting to make actually and I've always wanted to bring a style of house especially to my worlds where you can have your friends involved as well so you can actually like change the style if you'd like and just include some different materials or completely change what it looked like downstairs but I thought just to begin with that's how it seems to look to like start off and then you could maybe add another floor underneath maybe put an enchantment room below where the brewing and all the chests are and see what that looks like okay so that's the start of what it should look like with all the oak wood going like that then what we're going to do is we're going to come across and we're going to fill the whole entire thing in in oak wood planks so you're going to get rid of all this bottom you're just going to fill all this in just like this because we'll demolish all the windows in later on just come across so I'm going to do this all the way around the build, however just for the doorway you're just going to come across like this, come down like this and then you can if you'd like just put in some simple oak wood logs going across and some stairs across the top. So give me one moment while I do all this 
So, we filled the whole entire house in with the oak wood. What we're going to do now is we're going to fill the top part of the house in with some birch wood planks. Or you could do it with half slabs. I think for myself, I'm going to use half slabs. Let me just grab those out instead of the full blocks, just because they look a lot better. So, let's come across, completely fill this area in. And it should start to take a little bit of shape. And then we'll start working on the roof as well. So we're going to come across. Keep filling this in. Shouldn't take too long. Just like this. And I do, I really do like this style. Whoops. I really do like this style. It works perfectly. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come across around the outside of the build and you're just going to place some half wood cobblestone slabs all the way around the top and then we'll move on to the next step after this one and i'll show you what it looks like on one half and then i'll go off camera and i'll do the other half myself so you've got that bit across here just like this then what you're going to do is you're going to come in between and just do a line miss one a line miss one a line miss one a line and so on and so forth until you get to the other side where it will attach to the other side of the house so if you don't understand that this is what you have to do so do i go from that middle block there i do so if you come across here you've got a line you miss a block you've got a line you miss a block and then you come down like so. so okay so i've done that all the way around the house the next step is a little tricky and i'm going to do the first part of this house on camera and then i'll do the rest off so you're going to get your half slabs of cobblestone again and do this pattern so from this middle block you're going to go down one and down another one and on the other side exactly the same so you're going to do that all the way around and as you can see it fits well with the rest of the build so let's come across to our house and go from this block here we're going to go down one and down one the other side exactly the same as long as you can get it in line correctly and go across just like so without doing too many mistakes so i'm going to do that all the way around the build so give me another okay more. so that is what that starts to look like all the way around and one thing that i did forget to mention is if you just cut inside here as you can reach it you can probably reach it a little bit better on the inside but just break these logs out here and just place these running across the side just like so all the way around the house so i'll just do this front part and then off camera next time i'll just go around and finish it off but this just gives it a little bit more color and shape to the build there we go so that's what it starts to look like so let me get some materials out and i'll start with the window so you can see where they're going you're obviously going to know that they're going to punch out here just like this on this side and this side and then you're going to come around to this side and grab these two just like so and on whoop, on this side just here they're going to punch out like this so give me one second whilst i get oh right then so you've got the materials as you can see you've got oak wood slabs some simple glass pane a wooden trap door and then just a flower pot and a ton of flowers so you're going to come across to the windows whoops place the glass in just like so you're going to get your half wood slabs then you're going to place two trap doors on the side a flower a uh, flower pot a flower pot and a flower of your choice just in the middle so if you miss that slabs trap door and a flower pot this time on the side just like so so it's a nice little change from what we used to build with the big fancy you know style oh i missed the glass there we go so this just breaks it up a little bit nice and simple this time nothing too fancy i've done that wrong there you go and the slabs across with some glass a flower pot and a flower just like that and then you can do exactly the same on the sides let's get rid of this grass just here you're going to get your half wood slabs all the way across your trap doors your glass in the middle just like so and then it's up to you if you want to put a flower pot on there 
But that is what the outside starts to look like. Let me just finish this side and put the glass in and whatnot. There we go. Put the trapdoors on, just like so. And then again, flowers if you'd like. But that is the outside of the house, as you can see. You can add that fancy pathway in if you like. It's entirely up to you. But let's get the materials and start on the inside. Okie dokie guys, welcome to the inside of... Oh, right, yeah. We've got to do the inside of the house this time. So, you're going to take out your birchwood planks. Put yourself some temporary lighting down if you'd like. So this is basically, whoopsie, the inside of what the house starts to look like. So you're going to get rid of all the grass, literally all of it. Bring all the birchwood throughout the entire thing. I'm going to leave those in for now, the temporary gloss on, just like that. And then what you're going to do is, above the windows, you're just going to place some simple torches, just like this, across each one. Whoops, this one. There we go. And on this one here. And in these two blue sections here, you can, if you'd like, put a plank like that. And then just bring up your oak wood logs, just like so. And then just put a... Half slab maybe on the top, or just use full blocks for the roof. It's entirely up to you. So, a half slab looks like this, just on the top. But if I were you, I'd use full blocks up here, like I did on the other house. So it looks a little better. But yeah, that's what it starts to look like. So let me fill in the rest of the floor and we'll get started. Okay, so I did change the roof to full blocks just because it looked a lot better. So for the entrance, you're going to bring up your awkward blocks once again, just like so. And then you're just going to get some stairs running across the top just like this. So this is what it looks like. And you can do the same on the other side as well. But for this sake, we're just going to bring this across just like this. And then you can do... In fact, we are going to do this side because it will look a little bit stupid. So we're going to bring this up and the stairs as well, just like that. Then you can place your doors on the inside. So we'll do that as well. Grab your awkward doors. Bring these on the inside so you can open up just like this. And just like that. So, give me one moment while I get the bed and the chests out. Obviously, break this block just here as you're looking at this. And, okay then, so we're on the inside of one of the rooms in this house. So, you're going to take your bed, just place it down just like so. You're then going to get your oak wood table or chair, if you want to call it like that. Place that just upside down flower pot on top and a flower of your choice then you're going to come back into the kitchen area you're going to place a double chest a furnace and a crafting table again nice little table a plant pot and a flower just like so and in this corner over here a nice little bookcase just like so and on this wall just here you can add a small painting just a little one by one square. Let's see if we can get one just like that. And in here as well. Perfect. So let's go downstairs. Let's grab out the oak wood planks that we need. And build down just like so. So let me see how many blocks we need to go down. Okay, so you've gone down five blocks just from the starting blocks. So that's one, two, three, four five so this block here that i'm standing on right now is gonna be the floor and you're gonna fill this in with some birchwood planks coming all the way around the build if you run out of space for torches just place them on the wall just like so so we're gonna fill this all the way in come on without making any mistakes and getting rid of the torch just like so this one and this one then on the wall just here, you want to make sure you can see just above where the chest is as well. So this is how you can get a good idea of how big this area is. So on top of this birch wood, you're going to get your oak wood and bring this across and up. Across here and down. And then all you need to do is just fill in these top parts. Then in this section here, just like so, 
is going to be some glowstone. So we're going to get the glowstone out. Bring these across like this. And then you're going to get your white stained glass. Bring these across just like this. And you're going to do that on the other side. So you're going to get your oak planks. Bring these up across just like this. Down. Break out. Break out. And your glowstone. And your glass across just like this. And fill in any little gaps. Just like so. And this is your entrance. Then all you need to do is fill in the entire rest with some oak wood planks. Just coming across all the way in the areas underneath the house. And then all you need to do is to build up. Get yourself a little ladder out. Just like this. Build all the way up. Like so. And then get yourself a trap door. And place it on the top. Just here. Like so. So I'm going to do the rest of this build down here off camera and i'll be back in a second with what you need to fill in okay, so we're almost done with the house guys just break in these little windows just here so you're going to miss a block on the left hand side smash out two place in your glowstone and your white stained glass so still on the left hand side you're going to come across here break these two blocks out just like this and place down your soul sand just like so this is then where your nether wart is going to go once in survival. Then you're going to come across here. You're going to place a set of double chests just here. All the way across. Then this top part here, because it was some birch wood planks. You're just going to smash those two out and place some half slabs. Just so you can open these chests like this. Then on this side you're going to place your furnaces going up like so. And just repeat the same step on the other side. So this is what it starts to look like. Then you're grabbing your furnaces like, oops, like so. Then you're going to put yourself a upside down stair or your table. And place your ender chest on just like this. Then on this side you're going to grab another table. A table on this side. And a cauldron on there with some water in the middle. And then you need to put your brewing stand just here. And then on this side here, you can just grab a simple plant pot, just like so, with a flower. And then in the middle here, if you'd like, you can place yourself a painting, just like so. Let's try and get a big one, shall we? A nice, big, long one. Come on. Where are you going to be? Are you anywhere soon? No, no, uh, no, uh, no, no. Come on. Get yourself a nice long painting, just like so. And that is what your downstairs looks like for survival. So, you've got the upstairs part of your house just here, as you can see. This is what it looks like inside. And then you're going to repeat the same process on that side just there. Then, if you don't want to extend your house, you can place in your simple, simple little table just like so where's the wood so you're going to come across here like this break in this one just here like that whoops you're not going to break that one that's a elf mistake bring that down then all you need to do is bring your flower pot two flowers of your choice so we're going to do this this and this then on this side if you're really good at minecraft hopefully everyone is by now you're going to come across, grab yourself a simple item frame, just like so. And you're going to place yourself a clock. Once I know where it is, there it is. Just in the corner, so you know if it's day or night. And that is what the house looks like. You can place yourself some carpet down here if you'd like as well. Let's go for a nice dark blue. And that's what the house is like. Um, no okay. No okay. You can live well. So that is what it starts to look like for a very two-sided house. What I will do off camera now is just build some more plots on this side. So all you do is take exactly the same shape. Instead of this pin here as oak, you just bring it across as the oak with planks. Build across, then you place the plank on the side and just keep going. So for now guys... Give me one moment whilst I build it again a couple more times and show you what it looks like when you've got at least 
four or six players. Okay, guys, so I've done the rest of the build. This is what it looks like. So this is the forever extending friends house or friend zone, whatever you want to call it. This is what it looks like on the outside. Then if you scoot around here and go inside, you can see you've got the rooms that we built earlier on. And then you've got more rooms across here. All furnished the same. Obviously, you do the downstairs yourself. Go down five blocks. On the fifth block, you build your floor out of birch wood. And this has six rooms. So you've got one room, two rooms, three rooms, four, five, and a six. So potentially, you could have six friends on this world, all starting off in a house just like this, before they get the materials that they actually want. So guys, if you've enjoyed this house as much as I enjoy building it, please give it a rating. I really would appreciate it. It's been a fun build to complete. Really hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next video.